But well, one block in Spokane pretty much sums up the city right now. Main Avenue is usually crowded with cars and people in the afternoon. Now that's not the case. While people are staying home and staying healthy, some businesses in Spokane are just trying to stay open. A lot of those businesses are closed or handling their business only online. We found out today you can tell the story of the statewide shutdown in one Spokane City block. Our Mayor Kawash shows us how. Grabbing a pastry from Boots Coffee seemed like routine just about a week ago. Now small shops like this on Main Avenue are just happy to see at least one customer walk through their doors. It's not a building that makes a home, it's the people. Without the people, Spokane just doesn't feel much like home. I got my heart hurt a little bit seeing everything just be so empty. This is Main Avenue between Brown and Division, a microcosm of this whole shutdown. 24 West Main, Boots Bakery is one of the only businesses still open. The shop is sending out to-go orders, but their staff of 17 is now just a staff of four. Allison Collins, her husband, and their two kids. I would say at best we're eking by. None of our staff are working right now, which is a real bummer. Have a good day. Thank you. Despite the trying times, Collins says they're not closing anytime soon. We're not quitters, and we also provide food that people can't get elsewhere. So we're specialized diets. So. Just a few doors down, 18 West Main. Finders Keepers dress shop should be packed with teenagers picking their prom dresses or soon to be brides looking for their perfect dress. But those dresses are only worn by mannequins today. It, I'm still kind of in shock, honestly. It's, um, we count on prom to get us through the entire year and we didn't even make it halfway through um, our season. Before. Right across the street, a vintage clothing shop. Seven West Main is also closed because not even hipsters are too cool for social distancing right now. We knew that we were only uh, aiding to the problem by keeping our doors open. And nothing says Spokane like a trolley built around shopping and drinking local. The warm spring weather usually means that these trolleys are cruising down Maine filled with people and laughter. Without people to go to and places to stop, I'm kind of right now on hold. Nina Kingdom had to refund all 30 of her customers who were signed up for the trolley, but she says something special will be planned when this is all over. I just want to help in any way I can, and I think this is going to be one of those vehicles to maybe help do that. We can all learn something from these strange times. One block, one community, one country, forever changed. But leave it to the trolley to remind us what makes Spokane home, the people and the love. From a quiet Main Avenue, I'm Mayor Kawash, 4 News Now.